are out of time. The third thing I wanted to share is how to build power. You walk into power by encounter. You sustain power by hunger. That's the move of the spirit. But there is a way to build power. But we don't have time. I would have shown you the way to build the four different kinds of power. So you will know what men do. Please stay calm. Stay calm. I have 10 more minutes. If you leave with this instruction, I'm okay. If you leave with this instruction and you practice it, I'm okay. But just to mention the four Greek words for power that all of you know and quote. How do you build it? Exousia is a positional power. Now, these are the most vital things men should know in order to win and to rule in their generation. Exousia is a function of position with Christ and you attain that position by new birth. So every time your revelation of Jesus increases, you grow in exousia. Exousia is not work based, it's a revelation based. So when a man grows in his revelation of Jesus, he grows naturally in authority. Exousia. Dunamis is a function of engagement. He said, God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think. Ephesians 3.20 According to the power at work on your inside. So it is the working and the engagement of dunamis that produces results. And the way you engage dunamis is by praying in the Holy Spirit. So every time you pray through, you discover that the power to cause changes is activated. But you see, if you stop at that level, you will come for a meeting, pray for the blind. Their eyes will open. The next blind man you see, you'll be afraid. The reason is because you generated enough power to cause that change, but you don't live there. So you need another wisdom to handle the other two kinds of power called Iskus and Kratos. Ephesians 6.10, it says, be strong in the Lord and in the Kratos of his Iskus. The way to build Kratos and Iskus is to be strong. So those ones are not momentary. They are continuous. So while you build dunamis by praying through, you build kratos by praying consistently. So a man can pray for 10 hours and generate dunamis. But if he wants to generate kratos, he may need to pray for 5 years. He may need to pray for 4 years. And when he has built kratos, he is strong already in the Lord. He doesn't need to prepare to do things. He has become a prepared man. Because there is a bank of energy in his spirit man. And a man builds iskus. Not just by a revelation of Jesus. But by living perpetually under the authority of Jesus Christ. So Jesus says moves, he moves. Jesus says stops, he stops. When he walks under authority for a long time. That authority is now invested in him. He becomes the embodiment of that authority. That's the man that has iskus. So Iskus is superior to Exousia and Kratos is superior to Dunamis because you generate Dunamis for momentary purpose but you generate Kratos for daily living. You generate Exousia for momentary purpose but you generate Iskus for daily living. Iskus and Kratos are stamina. This is how men win. So they wake up in the morning they say, it's done. Somebody shared a testimony. A witch struck him. And then he went into coma. And then in coma, he saw himself in a big pot that was covered. Struggling to come out. And he couldn't come out. The wife now went to Dr. Paul and Enchen. And when he narrated the story that the husband has been in coma, they are trying everything, it's not working. Dr. Paul just said, I command that pot to break. Where the man was in the pot, he said he saw lightning from heaven. Scattered the pot. The first question is, how did he know the man was in the pot? And then by what means did he generate thunder in the spirit realm? It didn't happen in the natural. So when men are doing things in the natural, they are, they are throwing bows and arrows, lightning and thunder in the spirit realm. And the pot shattered and instantly the man came out of coma. And the man came to narrate the story. How that the thunder struck. Dr. Paul didn't go to pray and prepare for a meeting. There was enough kratos. 
So if he speaks, he resonates in the demonic realm. This is how we build power. So when God begins to trouble you to pray in tongues every day for one hour, he is taking you somewhere. The name of that place is called Kratos. When you get there, that's when you will mount up in the energies of God. But many Christians, they don't know. That's why I began by telling you, Christianity must be practiced. He says, strong meat belongs to them who are of full age, who by reason of use have exercised their senses to discern good and evil. It must be practiced. And the way to do it is in the spirit. Yahweh. Hey, 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 hey. Where you are sitting, just tell the Lord now. Some of you, you need encounter. Some of you, you need hunger. And some of you, you need consistency to build power. I assure you, if we go through this congregation, your manifestation is hinging on one of these three things. Most of you have never had any tangible encounter, so you don't believe the spirit things. You don't believe in spiritual things. Some of you, your hunger for God died many years ago. So even the things you knew and handled, you have lost them. And some of you, even though God is talking to you, there's no stamina, there's no energy to bring forth. If these three things can be actualized from among us here, generous, I mean generous we rise for this generation. I don't know which is what you need. But ask the Lord now. I want to pray for in the next five minutes. Ask the Lord. If it's an encounter you need, you will have one. If it is stamina, you will have it. If it is hunger, you will have it. I release the sound of the heaven, the sound of creation. Shine, Shine. Shine. 